Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Grove Kit. Uh, so it's been a good couple of weeks uh, since I've even been in my veg plot. Um, I haven't put any videos on YouTube either for a couple of weeks, uh, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but today I'm going to be putting up my main crop potatoes. And I've noticed uh, I've got quite a few crystal apple cucumbers which are ready to be harvested. Uh, so everything's kind of gone a bit crazy and I've kind of neglected everything. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see what we get. Um, so I'll just turn the camera around and we'll make a start and we'll have a look what's around. <laughs> All right, there. Uh, so these are the main crop potatoes, or some of them. This is just three plants worth. Uh, so they've done really well. I'm quite pleased with them actually. Uh, no slug holes, no wire, wire worms. Some really good sized potatoes. Yeah, so let me just put up another one over here. You can already see those of them, look at that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm happy with them. That's about the only decent crop I've had this year. Potatoes. So yeah, happy with the potatoes. Right, so I've got <laughs> about another 20 plants to fill up, so I'll get crack a minute and we'll see what we got at the end. Right, so I've just pulled up all the potatoes. Uh, this is my main crop. Um, I think that's Pentland Dill, um, but that might have been my early, I can't remember what they were called, but I will write it in the description, uh, the variety. Um, but really happy with this harvest uh, if you remember my first earlies were pretty much knackered they all got eaten um, but the main crops have more than made up for it so i'm really happy with these um so there's probably still more in there because uh, this is just the ones that i oh, saw on the surface type thing uh, these are no dig potatoes uh, so i didn't earth them up at all i just put them underneath the compost and horse manure and leaf mould um, but I will be digging this over just lightly uh, just to get the rest of the potatoes out and pull up any weeds that have grown in here uh, it's not been too bad weed boys um, quite a lot of bind weed but it's not a problem if you keep on top of it um, see it just grows in the grass it just grows in to the bed and um, I'll just keep pulling them out so uh, anyway um, I'm just going to dig it over see if there's any more potatoes in there and I will start harvesting my cucumbers and uh, I'll get back to you in a minute all right then guys uh, so this is what we ended up with let's get these gloves out of the way um, so we've got probably about 30 kilos of potatoes um, most of them are okay. There's a few nibbles in some of them. Uh, but unlike my first crop, uh, which were mostly full of holes, uh, most of these aren't, so that's good. And I've got quite a few of these crystal lem crystal apple cucumbers. Uh, so I'll give them a try. Um, these are better picked. Around about tennis ball size, I think, I read. Um, the skin gets quite tough. Um, this is a market more cucumber which I left on too long so I'm hoping it has some good seeds in it though. And a couple of tomatoes. Um, the variety of potatoes was Pentland Dill, uh, just in case I didn't say. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, what was I going to say? Um, with the potatoes if you notice any thing on them that looks like tomato, uh, this is actually the fruit from the potato plant. Uh, they're very closely related to tomatoes. Uh, I think they're part of the nightshade family. So whatever you do, don't mistake them for tomatoes and eat them because they're actually poisonous, I believe. 
Uh, so I just thought I'd let you know that, just in case, because uh, I have seen a few posts, people asking what they are. Uh, so they're the fruit from the potato plant, uh, but you cannot eat them. Um, so my cucumbers, I've just left and they've been going wild. Uh, they're all nicely producing just the waffle cucumbers now. Uh, I've left a few on the plant just to let them get a little bit bigger. Um, the one that gave me the best crop was the one with fasciation. Um, see the multiple stems and stuff. Uh, we are getting a good crop off of it, so very interesting. Uh, it's gone all over the place, but uh, I'll leave these on here just a little bit longer, just get a bit bigger. Um, this bed's now clear, uh, so any ideas what to do with that uh, would be much appreciated. Uh, any recommendations of what I should sow in there or plant in there? <coughs> um, so, um, when I did these beds, I didn't really think it through very well. So, what I might do is make this just one bed, just put an extra couple of slates in there now and just make it one bed because uh, I can't get the lawnmower down the middle of there. Uh, so I should have given it another few inches and then it would have fit perfectly. Uh, but it's all learning. Um, the sweet corn I sowed far too late because my first sowing failed. They're doing well, but unfortunately I don't think there's going to be time for them to produce a crop. Same with these tomatoes here. I'm not going to pull them up yet, just in case, you never know. Um, as I said, there's more tomatoes here. Uh, everything else is growing, but not producing much. We've got a few strawberries in the end, but not many. Uh, they were first year plants anyway. And I made the mistake of letting some runners grow, so that didn't help the harvest. Um, the grapevine there uh, is actually growing nicely now. Um, it only started growing probably end of May because uh, it was a stick. It was a, about a year old anyway, but I trimmed it right back just to transport it when we moved. Um, so it's growing up here now. And that's the next year, hopefully, we'll get some grapes on that. Um, the gooseberry bush is recovering from its attack from sawflies. Uh, but again, no harvest this year from them. I will give it a nice prune and hopefully we'll get a nice harvest next year. We'll clear out the middle. Uh, the same with the currants. I prune them back really hard to transport them. We got a few on there that the birds got them, or the animals got them before me. <coughs> uh, Brussels sprouts are still going. A few carrots in there. Uh, apologies if you can't hear me, it's extremely windy today. Uh, we had this storm go through yesterday. Um, we we're just in the tail end of it now, so still a bit windy. Uh, onions again. Some of them are okay still, but the majority of them have just been munched. I have a feeling that it's rabbits eating these, or hares. I did see a hare running down the road, so they've obviously been in here, or something's been in here. Um, the Brussels sprouts have got caterpillars on them. I'm going to spend a bit of time in a minute and pick off as many as I can. Uh, but again, a learning experience. Uh, I should have netted them. I knew I should have netted them, but I thought I'd be able to keep on top of it. Um, black currant there, that was new this year. Uh, it's growing well, but not produced. These tomatoes, I didn't keep on top of the suckers, and as you can see, it's just gone crazy. There is a few tomatoes on it. Uh, but again, 
I should have kept on top of it. And another current bush looking nice and healthy, but no currents this year. Obviously, when I got it, when I got it here, I trimmed it down to about a foot. Um, it, the fruit grow on old growth, so this growth will have fruit next year, hopefully. The same with the raspberry. We did have a few. There was a fair few, but by the time I'd got out here to pick them, something else had eaten them. So again, maybe I need to put them in a net or some sort of fruit cage. And my rhubarb was new this year. And um, it grew really nicely. I was tempted to harvest it, but I just left it. And um, it's dying back now, so next year hopefully I can harvest some of them. Yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Um, I have still got all my sunflowers and that growing in my planter. Um, I will do another episode and I'll put them in that episode because uh, this episode is probably getting a bit long now. Uh, I like to keep my videos up to about 10-15 minutes um, just purely because my internet is terrible and it takes hours to upload them as it is um, but yeah I'm, a, I'm really happy with my main crop potatoes and I'm happy with the crystal apple cucumbers uh, considering they were grown outside as well not in a greenhouse so. and there's still plenty to harvest and I'm still hoping we'll get some Brussels sprouts at the end of the year. So, anyway, a bit of a mess. I've got to tidy up a bit in here. Um, but, I'm happy. Alright everyone, uh, so that's it for this episode. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, if you could subscribe, uh, that would be great. And please feel free to leave comments. Uh, I do appreciate your nice comments um, so yeah a few things learned for next year uh, but I'm quite happy with what I've achieved this year um, so if anyone has any ideas what I can put in that bed for over winter uh, leave a comment that'd be fantastic uh, but I will see you on the next episode uh, so thanks a lot for watching and I will see you later